Hello, everyone. I'm here to talk to you today about Jaeger, and we have a big new release version two that I'll touch upon and explain the significance of this. Jaeger is a graduated CNCF project focused on observability. We do distributed tracing. It was donated by Uber to the CNCF and was one of the first graduated projects. My name's Jonah Cowell. Besides being a Jaeger maintainer, I also run product and design at Pessler, which is a monitoring company. Um, and uh, let's dive into the content. So for those of you that haven't seen, well, first I love scuba diving. So come to the Jaeger booth if you want to talk about diving. That's what I do for fun. Um, but Jaeger uh, really helps you debug distributed applications and pinpoint performance issues. So this is how you would visualize different traces or executions within your application. We've made a lot of enhancements in the user interface over the years, being able to search and isolate problems, and then drill into the actual execution of a single end-to-end -end trace. So you can see where the slow parts are, how you can speed this up and optimize it. So it really helps anyone that's building software do that better or operating software operate it better. You can also visualize this instead of a timeline view. You can look at it as a flame graph showing you where you can optimize where your CPU and your memory and your execution time is actually going. Um, you can also drill into the database. You can drill into Kafka, just touching upon the last lightning talk here, and, and really dig in and see what's happening within the application itself. Visualize the views from end to end. There's a lot of value for different stakeholders within your organization or if you're just doing this on your own. So the other thing is that Jaeger is closely tied to a couple of different projects. One is Prometheus, where we've uh, built the capability to automatically get metrics into your Prometheus backend to automatically understand the request rate of your application, the error rate, and the duration. Uh, so we have a really nice integration and visualization of these key metrics that let you know when something bad is starting to happen with your application. Uh, you can also go deeper in your, in your observability tool of choice that works with Prometheus, uh, folks like Grafana, or a new project called Perseus that visualizes metrics as well. Uh, so one of the big things we've done is Jaeger version 2. This was about a two-year project. Similar to some of the previous talks today, we leveraged the Linux Foundation mentorship program and Google Summer of Code to bring mentors in to help us work on the project because all of us have day jobs and we work on Jaeger and try to make something great for the community. So this big project, we just released version two. The official release was on Sunday, and this is now completely based on the open telemetry collector. So what this means is that when you're using open telemetry to collect logs, metrics, and traces from your application, now Jaeger has a very similar configuration, similar technology and capabilities underneath. And it also let us do things like leverage the community around open telemetry to get better sampling, uh, better support for Kafka. That's always a challenge to keep that up and running. And we have support for new backends in terms of storing the data. Uh, We've also made a bunch of other enhancements uh, since the last year in the user interface, uh, just improving the usability, improving the features uh, within the UI. And so the way that it looks is that on the left-hand side, you instrument your application with open telemetry. You can do this either automatically, manually. There's a lot of ways to do that. The data then flows into the first part of Jaeger, which is uh, we call a collector role. And this basically takes in the data, allows you to process it, manipulate it if you want, filter it, sample it, and then it sends it to a backend. Uh, Jaeger today officially supports Elasticsearch, OpenSearch, and Cassandra. Uh, however, we're working on ClickHouse, which I'll touch upon in a minute, as natively supported. And then the front end basically reads from the database. It's all microservices architecture. You can scale this out in various ways. And everything is stateless except for the database. 
uh, so it's easy to deploy on Kubernetes. A couple of the things that we're missing, uh, we have a Helm chart for version one of Jaeger. We're working on it for V2. This is one of our internship programs that should be wrapping up this year. And same with the operator. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're adding ClickHouse uh, and making a bunch of other changes to the UI. So we're looking for folks that want to work on the front end, definitely come and talk to us. Um, and we also have a booth in the pavilion in the morning. So come and talk to me or my other co-maintainer about Jaeger. We can answer any questions. Uh, we also have a session tomorrow afternoon, and the QR code goes to the session, but the details are here as well. So look forward to seeing uh, some of you there, and uh, thanks for the time. Please come to the community, Slack, all the usual suspects. So uh, appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful conference. <laughs>